This is We Are The In Crowd, and you're listening to officialfanclub.net. All right. in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida at the Vans Warped Tour with We Are The In Crowd and uh, it's, uh, it's a hot... going swimming. Yes. <laughs> the Olympics was three nights um, ago. There was the opening ceremonies and I know um, Vans Warped Tour was performing up in Orlando but did you get a chance to check out the opening ceremonies and there was like a social integration, social media integration? I actually didn't. My mom told me that she DVR'd it for me. Because uh, we didn't have very good uh, direct TV service that day. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it as well. Missed it. I saw it get on Twitter. I was yeah. watching tennis this morning, though. That's no, uploading. That's very exciting. The latest album is Best Intentions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I was listening on Sirius uh, Hits this morning, and it's number 19 on the Sirius. Yay! Kiss Me it. Again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, great. Um, and um, also, there was the Back in the Fall. You Felt lyrics in that particular song. Any story behind "On Our Own" that you'd like to share with your fans? Um, I don't know. Just the idea of the song just kind of came around, um, and we we wanted to kind of write about the idea of being very very angry about a relationship. So it all just kind of came together that way. It was just a very general idea that. The whole mental. I remember when we were writing the lyrics. Actually, yeah. It was really dark. It was like. It, it was actually a lot darker. Yeah. yeah. We had to take some stuff out. It was like yeah. really weird. Our whole mindset <laughs> was like, let's imagine that we have this person that really just. Screwed you it was over. also freezing cold, and we were in New York City, and it was just kind what of. Was it like we had them depressing. in a chair in a basement, and it was like. No. No, that's what it was. Remember, it was like we need to like say. Oh, uh, how it how it would feel if you were yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. The motivation. Have you come out with a video since the release of the, the album Best Intentions? Yeah, we actually, we've had a few. We did Kiss Me yeah. Again video, we did um, a Rumor Mill video, yeah, we did an On Your Own oh, uh, yeah. video as well, and then we just released uh, Exits and Entrances video. I understand We Are The In Crowd is a, uh, studio, a band formed out of a studio project? Mm -hmm. What is a studio project? <laughs> it's kind of just a name we, we made up as, it was just like, it wasn't something we were taking all that seriously, it was just more of just a, an experiment, I guess, is a better way to put it then, yeah. Did you, did you know each other before the, I mean, as, were you friends or you came, came together professionally? Nope, I didn't know any of them. I met them all through other, another guy and they have all known each other. I just met Cameron like 15 minutes ago. Yeah. I kind of just stumbled across over here. Just getting a bite to eat. Kind of we found him in the ocean. He was swimming with the sharks. Yeah, she's, she's actually a mermaid. You're in. What? It's like Splash. You're in. Suit up. Thanks. Tay Jardine, lead singer. And you've been likened in the press to Haley Williams. How does it feel to be compared to Paramore's lead vocalist? I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I think she has a great voice. Um, I don't know her personally, but I hear good things. So that's, I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Have any artists or other musicians have influenced your your style or how you sing or play? Totally. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, pretty much everything that we listen to, we're inspired by. It could be anything. I mean, I, I, could, I could be inspired by that blade of grass right yeah. there, and we could go back and write a record about it. I mean, it's all <laughs> really about emo weird, it's all yeah. about emotions and feelings and love and it all coming together with nature and just we're all Surprisingly, one. Surprisingly, a lot of our ideas start out in a shower or taking a poop. As right. real as it is, you know, or the grass, or the, or the grass thing, you know, whichever. And you're like, you're on your phone, you hum a melody or something, then you, yeah. It's weird how it all, how it all happens. Of course, growing up, going, going to shows, seeing your favorite bands, like that's how I learned how to play drums by watching other drummers how to play. We were in the in crowd. You were on tour with the Vance Warped Tour in 2010. Yeah. How was that experience for you? Wait, that, not last year, so you, you took a year off and then... It, it was like boot camp for our band. It was in many ways. Not even just like learning the ropes of Warped Tour, but just learning a lot about each other and learning about just touring and, and just growing as a band in general. We learned a lot on that tour. Can you share any backstage, um, kind of like behind the scenes stories from being on tour, either this tour or the tour in 2010? Something the fans normally wouldn't um, know about? Or We're pretty I boring. I don't know. 
I don't know if it's just us made behind the scenes stuff, like especially for Warp Tour, it's just it's just a bunch of normal people like hanging out doing right now behind stuff us there's a bunch of people yeah. fishing like you know that I mean, are on the tour it's most all... of the people that are on this tour right now are doing the same thing that the people are doing standing there watching the show it's kind of just this walking around period. waiting to eat and waiting to i don't know go to the bathroom and shower we're all <laughs> trying to do the same thing <laughs> the band was on tour in the uk in the fall mm -hmm. um with um all time low yeah now, how was that experience for you? How did you build um, such a tremendous um, fan base, both U.S. bands, you know, over in the U.K. to be able to put together an extensive tour? It's know. very impressive. We're not sure. We went over there for the first time, uh, not this yeah. spring, but last spring, and um, it was. We were surprised. We didn't really know how it had happened. Sometimes. Bands just catch on in certain places, and we were lucky enough to have that happen to us. Yeah. And so we, we just kind of, yeah. yeah, we just kind of grasped onto that, and, and we toured there a lot to kind of maintain that fan base and build it as fast as possible. And our plan was really to build that fan base so that like the U.S. and the other countries can kind of like catch up to it. There's always that one place that it starts, and for us, I guess it was pretty much the U.K., which is different, but happens. <laughs> Election year is coming up. What is your your perspective on bands and artists that endorse political candidates and use their um, uh, fame to uh, extend their political agenda to their fans? I mean, they stay away from that stuff. Yeah, we do. We do stay away. Yeah. I don't think that it's necessarily a good or a bad thing. It's it's kind of just an indifferent thing to me. I think, yeah, we just don't. We we stay pretty neutral with all that. I think we want our fans to be able to think whatever they they want to think if there was one musician or or, or artist that you could bring back from the dead and go on tour with or record in the studio with who would that be now that's a group of you to come up michael jackson i'm gonna say jerry garcia michael, <laughs> oh. I, don't even, jerry I don't even know garcia. why that's uh, domino <laughs> we'll go jerry garcia that's a great one that's not even like a really big band. Yeah, I just thought it'd be Dimebag Daryl, you know. Just Dimebag Daryl. Hey. That's a good one. I want to see that guy. That's a good one. Dimebag. Chubby Checker. That's it. <laughs> Let's twist again. <laughs> Do you have a personal message you'd like to impart to your fans in closing? Um, well, thank you. And uh, keep supporting us. Check out WeAreTheInCrowd.com for all your updates and Twitter, Facebook, and all those crazy cool links that you may be into. <laughs> Stay healthy. Classy. There you go. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the in crowd.